everybody thank you so much for stopping by the channel this is pick a card reading who is your divine soulmate when are you going to meet them what do they look like what's their zodiac sign so let's go ahead and get right into it this is going to be pile one with the rose quartz pile two the pink heart and pile three the purple heart i do offer personal readings the information is down below in the description box if you're interested let's go ahead and get started with pile one Okay, for pile one that chose the rose quartz crystal, let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's see what's going on. Okay, now this person could definitely be somebody from your past here. They could definitely be juggling uh, two different jobs. They could own two businesses. Whatever the situation is, I do feel they could be living at a distance. They could live by water. They could be an earth sign. We're going to define the zodiac, but this person could be from your past. It could be from a past lifetime. It could be from when it was a childhood, or it could be a past current situation. There's a lot of cups here. There's a lot of good communication. This person is very, very heartfelt. They're very passionate. This person could be a Pisces as well, but again, we'll validate. But I feel this person wears their heart on their sleeve. They really want to get into you. They really want to talk. They probably talk a lot. Uh, they just really express easily for you. But they definitely could be um, juggling two jobs or own two businesses because I do have the two of pentacles. I do feel this person owns a boat, a yacht. There's something with water. They probably own a piece of property with water on there as well. And we do have the Knight of Pentacles. So very well-to-do person here. Could be a little bit younger than you. They do a research. They could be a professor. This person communicates very, very good. They could be an author, a writer. They could be a teacher as well. Let's see what else we have here. Very, very good looking. Sharp jaw, uh, prominent nose, eyebrows, deep set eyes. This person knows of you, okay? And they do talk. And I did say they probably talk a lot. And there it is right there talking. So you could be already communicating. You could be actually meeting and thinking about doing online dating. You could be taking a course yourself, online course, or you could be taking a class. Whatever the situation is, there is going to be some type of communication like a text call, email, whatever this is. You could be chit-chatting back and forth. This person really likes you more than you know. So I feel for some of you here in Pile 1, this person you're, you're familiar with, you've crossed paths, or you already know this person. So this is actually blossoming on their end. They really want to flirt. They really want to date you. They really, really like you. So this person wants to get to know you better. And it is a twin flame situation here. In their mind, they really feel that you are their twin flame. They want to talk to you more. So this is a union. This is something this person, it could be complicated. Um, I'm trying to get together and meet this person. You may still be with somebody. I don't feel they are. I feel they are free. Okay, and they've been free for over six months. So whatever the situation is for you, your real divine soulmate counterpart twin flame right here really wants to do a lot of communication. They really want to get... Um, Get this ball go rolling. Past life, I said that. Past life relationship. Go back and watch that. I said that earlier. Yeah, you've known each other one way or another with this particular person here. And very soon you're actually going to meet this person. The universe is saying, I really need you to clearly decide what you want. And let this person know. Instead of the flirting, the chit-chat, the small back and forth, there's something coming back. I keep hearing there's something coming back. Gemini. So you definitely have a Gemini here, um, you know, and it's like, should I stay? Should I go? You may be indecisive about a situation here, but this person really wants, for some of you, it is a second chance. For others, it's a past lifetime lover or somebody you've just known in your past. Doesn't have to be romance. Maybe you worked with that person. Maybe it's a family friend. Maybe it is just a friend. But nonetheless, there that is. Let's go ahead and take a look and see when are you going to meet this person. Okay, for pile one, when will they meet this person? When are they going to meet? I feel that you already have, but when is this relationship actually going to move forward? We'll put it that way, okay? Because I feel you already connected with this person during the day. So again, it could be on a job situation or during the day you're out and about shopping, getting coffee, going to Starbucks or visiting family friends. But during the daytime, let's go ahead and take a look and see what this person looks like. Okay, Spirit, what messages can you give us? What does this person look like? Okay, they want to pull this one right here. So this person has blue eyes, could be contacts, but they do have blue eyes. Let's move on to pile two. Okay, for pile two, that shows the pink crystal. Let's take a look here. For pile two. Well, this person is good. Financial, stability, strong, owns their own business, corporation. 
could be a boss, leadership, uh, CEO. This person definitely has a lot of money. I'm talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. This person has quite a bit. They have a mansion behind them. They know how to do business. They probably own several types of business. I just heard car sales. They may have, maybe they own car dealerships as well because I'm seeing a lot of cars inside of these. There's like different doors of garages with all kinds of cars in there. This person may collect them. This person is well-to-do, could be millionaire status, literally. Uh, this person definitely owns a lot of corporations is what I'm feeling. They balance themselves between family and work. This person is very, very busy, so you'll have to be okay with that because this person works a lot. Could be a Sagittarius, but they balance their emotions. They have to because they're in charge. They take charge. They run something big, okay? They could be the president of a company, a CEO. They own their own business. They could own real estate, I just heard. They could own the real estate company. Whatever this is, they travel a lot. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Good communication. This person knows exactly what they're doing. They bounce their emotions here. They are coming for you, though. They have had their eye on you for a while. Uh, this person is very much interested in you. This person wants to get at, to, to know you better. So if you're going to get a vehicle, if you're looking at a house or an apartment or anything of that nature, you may cross paths with this person. This person travels. They're in it to win it. This person's a thoroughbred. This person uh, really goes back and forth. I feel this person goes in and out of the country three times a year, okay? But they definitely travel with their job. Let's take a look at these cards. Yeah, look at that. Soulmate. So this person is going to be your soulmate. It's a soul counter connection. Good partnership. It's a good agreement. This is a soul contract with this person. They do keep it light here, but it's going to be like the sparks. You have lightning. So the sparks are really going to fly. It's very intense, sensual desires. There is going to be a swift, sudden change. Shocking news. You didn't think this person was interested. You probably didn't even think this person was available. This is like an epiphany. Something is transforming very, very quickly. Speed of light. You also have the butterfly. So like I said, you're going through a transition. Um, this person's done. They're not They're not healing. They're already healed. They're just single and available, but they only have eyes for you. So this relationship is going to go very, very quick. It's hot. It's on fire. This passion. So it's going to go to the next phase very quickly. Whatever the situation is, you may still be healing from something, but they're good to go. They're good. This relationship is really going to evolve quickly. You're going to get a chance to know each other here. So as you reveal your innermost self, you talk to each other, your bond deepens. I feel it's a social gathering. Um, I do feel that you're going to be at some type of party social gathering. It could be a work environment. It could be a business meeting. It could be something where you're at a hotel on vacation. But there is a social gathering. You guys get to know each other. And there is going to be a lot of romantic feelings. This person is going to let it be known that they just want more than just general conversation. They want an actual commitment. This person is emotionally attached. So their feelings and your feelings are worth exploring here. And you have Taurus. That makes perfect sense. Mind on the money, money on the mind. I mean, with all of this money and all of this business and real estate and probably owns car dealership and everything else, this person is well-to-do. But they treat you like a queen. They're also very down to earth as well. So this person is very homebody. They really want somebody that's good committed to them. Let's go ahead and take a look and see when are you going to meet this person. Beautiful reading. When are you going to meet this person? Let's take a look here. In the evening. So whatever the situation is, you could be out and about doing something here. Um, you could be out with family, friends, dinner. You're invited out to dinner. Whatever the situation is, evening time is for you. Let's take a look and see what they look like. Okay. They said pull from the middle. Blonde hair or they have highlights in their hair like blonde streaks. They could be living by the beach, by the water, by the ocean, but they have blonde hair and or highlights. Let's move on to pile three. Okay, pile three. That chose the purple crystal for pile three. Let's look at your divine soulmate, your counterpart. Knight of Cups, Empress, and the Sun. Beautiful. This person is a daydreamer. I'm feeling Pisces. Pisces Scorpio is what I'm feeling. This person really wears their heart on the sleeve. Could be a little bit younger than you. They listen to their higher self. They could be musically inclined. They definitely have an offer coming for you here. They want the new beginning with the Empress card. Could be springtime that you really get this leveled up with this relationship. Or you met them in the past, in the spring, March, April, um, or three or four months ago is what I'm hearing. 
whatever this is, it's good communication. You could have met them at a gig, at a band. I don't know, maybe you went to karaoke, you went to a live concert. Whatever the situation may be, there could have been music at a wedding I just heard. This person may have played at somebody's wedding. They're a musician. They have a lot of music, um, a lot of musical energy around them, or they just enjoy it, or they have enough money to hire bands and gigs and people. They may open stage for somebody. I just heard somebody may open a stage, a performance, okay? Whatever this is, you get a yes to something I don't answer to. That's what the Sun card is. It's happiness, joy, prosperity, success. Everything goes in their favor. I mean, they always have new beginnings, fertile new roles. They love children. They're very fertile. So if you don't want children, be careful. You know what you need to not do or protect, okay? So this person um, just gets beautiful. Just gets along with family. Everybody loves them. Life of the party. A lot of blessings. Things work very good for this person. They really don't have a downtime. I mean, business-wise, they're very good. So they do, and they are emotional. Look at that. We have a lot of passion here. This person and you have insane chemistry, okay? It's like you both like each other equally. It's like attracts like. You both have fun. Fun in the sun literally could be and live by a warm climate, okay? Or they just really prefer the sun, the warmer climate versus cold weather. This person has a lot of passion. They're going to love you unconditionally. There's a lot of giving and receiving. This person gives a lot. Okay, they give a lot. They give a lot of affection. They fall in love very, very quickly. Okay. And they've been watching you. They have an eye on you, even if you don't know who they are. This person may be reminiscing about the first time. I feel it's first. It's like when I see you, it's like love at first sight. This person is so trying to get a hold of you. And so whatever it is, and they may feel that they've known you. They've been watching you for a while. I feel this person has, feels like they know you from like a past lifetime. Or they just, you're so intense. The energy between the two of you, you're going to feel it. They may be different. They may have a different cultural background. They may live at a distance from you. But universe says give this person a chance, okay? Give this relationship a chance. Um, you know, you need to work on the relationship. There could be some hurdles in between. Like I said, they could live at a distance. Maybe you don't live by water. They do. Uh, they travel. Whatever it is, I'm telling you, this person really expresses their love. So they want you to go ahead and make the gesture to let them know it's okay to come on in because this person is definitely, truly, deeply in love with you. What do we have here? Oh, Pisces. Okay, yeah. I said Pisces Scorpio, water sign, and that makes sense because we have the Knight of Cups here, and that's Pisces Cancer Scorpio right here. So whatever the situation is, they are a daydreamer here. They definitely probably live by water or love water or love the beach. So let's go ahead and take a look here and see what this person looks like. Okay. Let's grab this one here in the top. They have a smaller frame. Don't let that fool you here. I just feel that they have, a, not short, but I feel like a smaller, kind of like a thinner frame, if you will. Nothing big and bulked up, but they're fit. I can tell you that. Okay, let's see what they look like here. I'm saying that they dance. They're real sexy when they dance. And they once they get on the dance floor, that's it. They're really good. It's one of their fortes. They're just really good. Sexy, grooving. When they hold you tight, slow dancing, it's grinding. It's just they love to move. They love to touch. Okay? That really is intense for them. All right, let's go ahead and pull this here. I'm going to pull this one right here. Yeah. In a six-month window. So in six months, this relationship is definitely going to take off, and you're going to get more deeply involved. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate that. I'll see you all in the next read. Take care.